In a time and place before recorded history, man and God coexisted. The most enlightened of men were allowed to traverse the astral plane to enter God's holy realm and seek out his advice. In time, the denizens of the underworld grew resentful of the presence of mortals in the astral plane. Defiantly, the grand demon Tazriel forged an evil weapon of ultimate destructive power. With his chaos axe, he rose up to challenge God himself. The ensuing battle between the two threatened the sh to shred the very fabric of existence. Though he prevailed, God was brought to the brink of death. Unable to destroy the chaos axe, he hid it from Tazriel by casting the axe into the realm of humans. In order to prevent the demon from ever recovering his evil weapon, God forever shut off the astral plane to the world of man. Four seals were created and placed in the human realm. They could never be opened from the astral plane, nor would any being ever be able to pass between the two realities, as long as even a single seal remained in place. However, these are only legends, tales half forgotten by most. The seals themselves have never been seen by any person alive, and most people pay no mind to the tale. After all, the world has, been known, has known thousands of years of uninterrupted peace, that is, until he appeared. Galvus. There were those among us who believed that he was a demon descended from Tazriel himself. But the thousands that he killed who locked eyes with him in their final agonizing moments knew that he was a man, and in that instance, lost all faith in humanity. The Dark Knight ravaged the land and terrorized the populace like nothing else in recorded history. Any village that he visit, visited faced certain annihilation. Most men never heard the mournful wails of the women, for they had already been slaughtered like pigs, their entrails littering the ground like a pit of bloody vipers. Through sheer force and intimidation, he raised an army powerful enough to challenge that of Imperial Camellia. Filled by many successes, his lust for power exploded. Ten years ago, Galfus marched on Camellia Castle itself, determined to annihilate King Jarek and his Imperial Army to coronate himself supreme ruler of the planet. Evil Quest. I am Nordograph! And I've, I've been wanting to do a game like Crystallis for a long time. Because it's, it's, from time to time I go back to watching it. And I found... I came upon this game. I'm gonna play the game on normal because I don't want to run into an instance where I can't beat the thing and I have to be hours and hours, you know? But anyway, I've been wanting to do a game like Crystals because from time to time I go back to the LP and I really love it. And I've played this game for a bit and I said, you know what, this is a lot like Crystals, I'm gonna give it a try. So let's go, a new game. Kiosoft Games presents Evil Quest. Tarkhan, King Jarek lackeys will be attacking from two directions, east and north. Take half of the men and head north. It's up to you to keep us from being surrounded. As you command, master. Get moving, I can see them approaching from this direction. The northern battalion will not be far behind. Why are you incompetent fools waiting for? Follow me! Let's go, you cretins! Cretins? Uh, I should probably look up how to pronounce the word. You cretins. I think cretins. Whatever. What an epic tale of a bunch of SNES sprites killing each other. Alright, soldiers! From here we head east! But, General! The Chameleon army will be approaching from the west. We should stand our ground here and protect the flank. To hell with Galvis! I'm in charge now until we head east. Think about how he treats us. Things will be much easier with me as your supreme commander. Well, he did murder my wife and children. Of course he did. It's an abomination that we should allow the Chameleons to get to rid us of. Come on, I know of a nearby village where we can really have some fun. Death to Galvis! Death to the bastard! That's the spirit. Let's go then. Alright, okay. Alright, 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 Matthew McConaughey. Pathetic! This is a disaster! Now we have to rely on Tarkin too! 
By order of King Jarek the Benevolent, you are hereby arrested for crimes against humanity. Will you come peacefully? Tarkin, he failed, but well, how did so many of you remain alive, who have at least killed most of your men? We didn't see anyone on our way here. Now, I ask you again, villain, will you come peacefully? Well, shit. Tarkin! He betrayed you, my lord. Tell your king I'll see him in hell! Yeah, we got... We got wrecked. We got wrecked. With the betrayal of General Tarkin, Galvi's army was routed. Beaten and humiliated, the evil knight was finally captured. As a false show of benevolence, the king of Camellia declared that Galvis was insane and should be spared execution. He was sentenced to life in prison. Shortly after his imprisonment, Galvis discovered a kindred spirit, an old thief who hated the world as much as he did. Galvis, I know that you want to destroy the world, but you can't do it through brute force alone. You need a better plan. I'm listening, but make it quick, old man. I tire of your senseless banter. Years ago, I was looting a pyramid in the southern desert. I snuck past a sleeping Medusa and entered a room. In it was one of the seals. You actually saw one of the seals? Then the legend must be true. If I can open the seals and unleash the power of the Chaos Axe. Yes, with that axe, not even God himself could stop you. Your path of destruction will reach from here across the entire astral plane. Then I will have vengeance against all who wrong me. King Jarek, Tarkin, even God. They all will die and I will crush this miserable world. Good morning, Captain. Did you hear that the rookie is scheduled to feed Galvis today? Yes, Eric. Poor guy. It's his first time, too. Did you know that the bastard slaughtered his family? He was just a child at the time and saw the entire thing. Yes, oh, here it comes. He shouldn't say anything else. Hey, Eric. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. That's good to hear, Eric. Well, I guess you've heard by now. Her what, sir? Well, you're scheduled to feed him today. Him? Yes, him, Galvis. The him, Galvis. The one they call the bastard, the guy who slaughtered your family. Franklin, get the hell out of here if you can't control yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. Sorry, Eric. Eric? Okay, Eric. You heard the idiot. Get going, and whatever you do, don't talk to the prisoner. No matter what it says to you, ignore it. Yes, Captain! This is what I've been waiting for. I can finally take my revenge on that bastard. Someone is about to get wrecked! Prisoner! I'm here to deliver your daily meal! Come closer, you little stain. You look very familiar. Did I kill someone close to you? I... Yes, I remember your face now. You were just a child at the time. Oh, how your tears made me laugh. Look at you now, such a big man. Did you come here to kill me? You're solely an arm and there's no one here to stop me. Everyone will call me a hero. Well, Eric, step in here and do it. If you can stand this smell, I'm sick of wasting away in this rat-infested hellhole. Come on, hero. Do it! You was for it, bastard! Wrecked. Where'd you get that? It's a shank, you intrepid fool. I've been carving it for years, and now it's finally tasted blood. Tell me, Eric, is this how you saw your revenge playing out today? You... You know, Eric, I'm feeling generous today. If you tell me where my things are, I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. Otherwise... You can slowly bleed out here. In agony. What things? The charge orb, the dark axe, and my iron armor. Where are they? The charge orb upstairs in a room crawling with rats. I heard the dark axe f fell into the sewers. Your iron armor is a trophy. We keep it in the mess hall. Interesting. Eric, thank you for coming here to kill me today. I knew I kept you alive for a reason. However, I've changed my mind. I'm going to leave you here to suffer. But don't worry. 
The rats are hungry, and they will eagerly keep you company in your final hours. Welcome to Evil Quest! Here are a few tips to keep you alive. Press the A button to attack. Right now all you have is a penny shank, but find Galvis Dark Ass and you'll be unstoppable. This is a safe point. When you step on one of these, press the back button to open the main menu. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and save. I have a safe game on hard because I, I wanted to test it out. Anyway, this is Evil Quest. I've I don't know much about it. I know it's a SNES style game. Very reminiscent of Crystallis. And I've been wanting to do a Crystallis game for a while, but I didn't want to go back to the SNES era quite right now. I know Terra Terranigma is sort of Crystallis like among the Seiken the Setsu games. But I wanted to do something blind. I've played those games before. So I found Evil Quest and we're playing it. I know we get something for talking to the old man. We get five herbs from here. And what does the old man have for ourselves? Galvis, my boy, you're free, just like we planned. Yes, and now we can get out of here, together! <laughs> yes, at last. But first, now that I can see your hands, teach me the ice spell you've always spoken so highly of. I know you're too weak to actually use it, but if but if you show me how, it will make our escape all the easier. Of course, my boy, it's just like this. You learned the ice. One spell. At last, now there's just one last thing. What is it, son? Tell me what is it that troubles you. Oh, nothing. It's just... Die. Galvis, why? It's simple, you ancient buffoon. Your snoring and horrendous mail have kept me awake for countless nights. I can bear the thought of spending any more time near you. Galvis, so proud of you. Goodbye. We killed our master. So we're a dick. At least that's what I'm gathering. From what we've seen so far. Wow, that looks powerful, and I shouldn't waste my magic like that again, I guess. Because it took pretty much in my entire magic pool. Well, at least now we know. We can one-hit KO rats. KO, sorry. What item? I'm not gonna use my herbs. No way, Jose. I'm actually going to look around. We can actually hit the items still to grab them. Which is good to know. Huh, a crack in the wall. I wonder if we can get some bombs to open those. My first step. We seem to have a lot of health, though. That was 4 damage, barely took any more health. But I do well to avoid taking damage in the future. At least I hope. 75. Got. I say I should avoid taking damage in the future. There I go, taking damage. Again, and again, and again. I guess that's uh, something that I... I'm gonna have to get used to. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this part because I've already went through them. Okay, so we can assign points. Okay. So, we can defense, match power. I think I'm going with attack. Toughness, affects defense, increases to take less damage. I should probably put... Increase to add magic points, increase spell power. I don't think I'm gonna be much of a, a caster. That would probably bite me in the ass later on. I think I'm going to go defense, then I'm gonna do one toughness, one vitality. I'm gonna do two strength and one toughness, one vitality. And alternate. Should have probably not done that. Usually, mages are... are stronger later in the game. They're pretty weak at the start, but anyway, we seem, the magic seems strong enough already. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next part when we go off these stairs. On the flip side, bye bye.